Dana Coverstone had another dream. The month of September, we need to pray. Whether you believe him or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Pray. Stop picking apart everything he does or everything he says or the way he says it or the way he gets it. Just pray. In the dream, he was asked to get more people to help him pray. Let's do that. As a nation, as a country, as the world, let, let's help him pray. Pray for the church to have a strong backbone. And what that means to me is the devil's going to be coming. He's going to be wanting to stop you to pray. He's going to want to stop you to pray. He's not going to want you to pray. He's not going to want you to talk to Jesus at all. So he's going to put doubt in your mind, doubt in your head. Don't let him do that. Fight the devil. It's going to be a hard month of September. Fight him. Fight him the best you can and keep praying. Keep praying. Pray for the church to be, the corruption to be exposed. There's corruption in church. I know there's corruption in church. Pray for that to be exposed. Corruption in the churches isn't supposed to be there. He also prayed for a harvest, to have a harvest, a great harvest. So let, whatever that means, I don't know what that means. You don't know what that means, but let's play, pray for a great harvest. If Jesus were to come back, are you ready? Is your family ready? Because in that dream, he didn't give a date. There's no date. God will never give us a date. But in that dream, he says, I'm coming back soon with my reward. Are you ready to have that reward? Is your family ready to have that reward? How do you get that reward? You ask Jesus into your heart. Just ask him into your heart. He's there waiting for you. He's just there waiting for you. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you for all of your sins. All of them. All of them. And he will. I promise you he will. The devil may, may be at the door saying, nah, he's not going to do that. Nah, he won't do that for you. Yes, he will. I promise you, yes, he will. And every day you pray. Every day, just pray. And Jesus will be in your heart. Read the Bible. Start reading the Bible. Fight the devil. Don't be embarrassed to stand up for your God. Don't be embarrassed to say, I am praying. I'm praying. I'm praying through the month of September. Are you? And if somebody laughs at you, that's okay. That's okay. Go to your family members and tell them to pray. Ask them if they're ready. If Jesus comes, are you ready? And tell them how to get ready. Tell them, you know, and if they push you away, pray for them. Just pray for them every day. Have faith. Have faith that they too will find Jesus. They'll find it in a different way. Maybe it's not through you. Maybe it's through somebody else. But pray. That's all you have to do is pray. Ask Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive you for all your sins. And start living a good life. God will give you a good life. You may have troubles at times. That's okay. I have troubles in my life. But you have to have faith and not give up. Not give up. God has a reason for everything. God has a reason for everything. So, the month of September. What are we going to do? We're going to pray. We're going to pray as a nation. We're going to pray as a country. We just pray. Pray for the church to have a strong backbone. Pray for corruption in the church to be exposed. And pray for that great harvest.